to the Brikamo Box Bar Mini Stadium where we are set to bring you the live ball to ball commentary in the GFF Men's Division 1 game between Brikamo United and Steve Biko. It's 14 first position against 6 position, 15 points against 25 points. Coach Adnan Musa up against Coach Sheriff Jalo coming to you live from the Brikamo Box Bar Mini Stadium and the two sides have already lined up before the ball or the central referee will get us on the way here. From the Brikamo Box Bar Mini Stadium and currently Steve Biko in their colorful mixture of white and black shirts, black white shorts and white socks are currently moving from our right to left whilst Brickham are united moving from our left to right currently having their handshakes with the um, with the teams and also the officials from the Brickham Box Bar Mini Stadium Brickham are united also in their colorful red shirts, red shorts and red socks and any moment from now the central referee and his team will slowly get us on the way here as Brickham are united will slowly be kicking from our left to right while Steve Biko will be playing from our our life right to left and any moment the central referee will slowly go to get us on the way as the two captains are currently pushed for their team photo before getting us on the way here and just as i said earlier this is lstv1 live from the brickham box bar mini stadium and at the commentary desk this is parliament for the kimo kanye and momo dubi jalo behind the camera is our very own osman kamara and any moment from now the central referee will slowly get us on the way brickham united are being coached by sheriff jalo whilst steve biko are under the watchful eyes of Coach Adnan Musa. These two coaches will be facing off here at the Brickham Box Bar Mini Stadium. Brickham United currently sitting on 14 position with 15 points, while Steve Biko are on six points or six position, six position with 25 points. Kemo, another great game uh, to look out for between Brickham United, who will be playing at their home ground, Brickham Box Bar Mini Stadium, against another travelling Steve Biko side here at the Box Bar Mini Stadium. Yes, uh, very well. Thank you so very much. Uh, I mean, it's good to be uh, an interesting encounter looking at Brickham United I mean they have been struggling in the first round uh, since the first round have started they have been struggling but uh, coming into the second round we have seen the first game of the second round that they have played was in on this uh, particular ground here and they are able to win that particular game uh, by a long goal to nil against the Banjo United side and again here is the second game in the uh, second round for them and as well the, the second round game for them as well is also played in the same uh, ground here so that has to uh, that is uh, that makes it very, very interesting uh, for the uh, two sides here that makes it very very interesting for the two sides here but, i mean steve biko is currently on form so looking at uh, that of the become united as well in the second round here coming here coming into the second game in the second round in their home ground here winning the first game here against the uh one united side and now coming uh, to uh, play against this uh steve biko side here also a game that they are currently playing at home as well so it is going to be uh, very very interesting for uh, the become united side they'll be hoping to uh, make it so that they replicate the performance of their of the first game that they have played here at the become at the become uh, uh, mini stadium here now in the uh in the early as well was also started i mean we have seen I've become another playing in the FA Cup uh, against the Real de Banjul side who, who are currently on form and of course on top of the table of the JFF main division one but of, that is a that's an FA Cup game against the Brigama United side. Brigama travel to uh, that of the uh, Real de Banjul side in Basori and are able to uh, beat Real de Banjul and knock them out of the FF Cup. So that makes this particular game very interesting because uh, into this particular game that uh, since the second round have commenced, Brickham United are taking that uh, confidence uh, now building the confidence that they can win a game against every other opponent that they played against. Uh, they have played two games already into the second round and uh, then winning both games. They win the first game and also oh, that was the uh, league game and also in the second game that they have played in the, uh, in this uh, round of the uh, on the second round here that was another one that they played but that was an FF Cup and then they are able to win that one as well against that of the Real de Banjo side so I, I think uh, that that is uh, that makes them very very interesting becoming another half uh, regain their confidence of winning and then Steve Vigo are uh, currently on form so this make the game uh, very very interesting for it's going to be an interesting affair between United and Steve Biko coming to you live from the Brickham Box Bar Mini Stadium and any moment from now the central referee will slowly get us on the way from the Box Bar Mini Stadium already the two teams are on the pitch and we are currently waiting for the central referee to get us the green light before we will start the ball rolling I think 
there is uh, some smoke coming from the other end of the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. I think the, those around the area have been instructed to put off the, the, the smoke. I think that is causing some problems at any moment. If that is sorted, the central referee will surely get us on the way. From the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium, Steve Biko in white and black shirts. White shirts and a mixture of black and white shirts. And they will be playing from our left to right, whilst Brikama in all red will be playing from our right to left. All coming to you live from the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. And this game is currently live on LSTV1. And also, on Facebook and YouTube at the commentary desk as usual. Parliament Fatih, Kimu Kanyi, Momodo Bijalo and behind the camera is Osman Kamara. Just as I said earlier, Brikama United are under the watchful eyes of coach Serif Jalo, while Steve Biko have been coached by coach Adnan Musa. It's white against black, white against red here. There we go, Brikama United. Quickly before the getting deep into the live ball to ball commentary, we'll have a quick rundown on the starting 11 for Brikama United. This starts with Bubakar Silla 20, Dominic Kuria 23, Adam Amane 28, Lamara Jalo number two, Demba Bujang 21, Suleiman Osaho 14, Ibrahim Abaji 11, Lamin Jata 17, Bubakar Kebe 29, Ismail Ajiba 25, Sini Bujang team captain number 10 for Brikama, and Sini completes the 11 for the Brikama base club, Brikama United. Steve Biko, a team based in Bakao, starts with Lamin Bai number one, Ibrahim Sidibe number six, Musa Jete number three, Musa Conte 18, Osman Cham, Usenu Cham Rada number 20, Usman Sise number 17, Momodu Sajo number 10, Yanku Bature 25, Lamin Silla 27, Lamin S. Bojang number 23, Omar Jabang number 19, completes the 11 for Steve Biko and there we go, Adam Amane who chested the ball for Suleiman Osaho who controlled the ball beautifully back to the central defender Demba Bojang who gets the ball quickly to Korea, Korea back to Demba Bojang who plays the ball quickly to the goalkeeper Bubakar Sila. Sila will try to use the right side of Brikama's attack, there goes Adam Amane who controlled that ball beautifully, Mane trying to guard the ball. Still Mane and Steve Biko regain possession. This is Ibrahima and the ball is off the pitch and the central referee awards a true in to Brikama United. On the right side of the attack, Adam Amane takes that quickly to Lamarana Jalo who is one of the central defenders for the Brikama base club. Lamarana strides forward to his defensive partner Demba Bojang. Demba gets the ball quickly to Babu Karkebe who strides forward to Ismaila Jiba control the ball beautifully around the center circle Ismaila known to many as Messi gets the ball to Adam Amane back to Ismaila Jiba Brikama United will try to get the ball forward a very good start and a bright start for Brikama United playing from our right to left Ismaila Jiba they are trying to possess the ball so well Babu Karkebe to Lamin Jata back to Kebe Babukar. Switch the play, Ibrahim Abaji strides forward, could not control the ball. Steve Biko regained possession. This time it is the number 25, Brikama regained possession. This is Ibrahim Abaji now. Baji to Korea, who is trying to use the left side of Brikama's attack now. Korea and Steve Biko on a defensive mission. Brikama regained possession. Trying to cause some problems for Steve Biko in the very first minutes here. Ibrahim Abaji gets himself into the 18 yard area. And Steve Biko on a defensive mission cleared their line and Brikama will surely benefit from the very first corner of this contest. Takes that quickly, Boba Karkebe trying his luck. He's indeed very good at that. Boba Karkebe receives the ball and powered in a right footed delivery, his effort sale of target. And that's going to be a goal kick to the Bacau Base Club, Steve Biko, who are dressed in black and white shirts, white shorts and a mixture of black and white socks. Steve Biko, that's a throw-in. Steve Biko will take that, takes that shot to the number 10, Momodu Sajo, who plays the ball quickly to the left side of the attack. Lamarana with a header. Can Brikama United keep the ball in play? No chance for Adam Amani and the ball went out of play and Steve Biko will benefit through the number six, Ibrahim Sidibe. Sidibe who once had spells with Real De Banjul, plays the ball back to the central defenders for Steve Biko who will surely try to build an attack from their own half. Takes that quickly into the center circle, Steve Biko trying to penetrate here, ball been drilled low, great control, they've been dispossessed, Suleiman Osaho, Demba Bojang to Dem Dominic Kuria. great control from Dominic, gets the ball forward to the team captain and centre forward Seni Bojang but Seni is being caught on offside by the assistant referee on the far side and Steve Biko 
will benefit from a set piece in their own half, the number five and central defender for the Bacau Base Club. We'll take that. Long and high one into Brikama's half. Lamarana Jalo on a defensive mission. That was a great build up for Steve Biko. And you could see that reaction from the central, from the head coach Adnan Musa. Ball being picked up there by Kebe Abubakar. To Ismail Ajiba, who strides forward. Brikama United. Lamin Jata goes to ground. An infringement awarded. Ismail Ajiba picks possession, takes that quickly. Babukar Kebe gets the ball back to trying to connect Sini Bojang up front. And solid defensive work in there by the central defender, Steve Biko. And Brikama regain possession through Babukar Kebe. This time it is Ibrahim Abaji who tries to switch the play to Adam Amani, great control Mane, who is operating as the right wing back for Brikama United. Brikama currently sitting on 14th position, while Steve Biko on 6th position. And a victory for Brikama United will surely get them out of the relegation zone. While Steve Biko will want to have a victory away from home to better their standing as far as the GFF men's division one is concerned. Suleiman Osao to Ibrahim Apache. Brikama trying to get the ball forward. Sene Bojang strides. And this time the number 18 was there on a defensive mission. The goalkeeper for Steve Biko cleared. Not a very good clearance. Steve Biko will try to clear their line deep in their own half. Ball being headed by Jata. Steve Biko cleared. Korea picks possession for Brikama United. Trying to have the ball forward. This time it is Suleiman Osaho who gets the ball back to Demba Boja. And Demba checks to the advancing Ibrahim Abaji who strides forward. Baji Ibrahima drilled the ball low to Lamin Jata. Brikama enjoying possession. Here at the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. And you could hear those claps coming to you from the supporters of the Brikama Base Club. Ibrahima Sidime picks that for Steve Biko. And the number 27 and centre forward Lamin Silla. Had a control, but he's been dispossessed by Brikama United. And it's going to be a throw in for the for, for, for the travelling Bakao Bay side, Steve Biko. Ibrahim Asidibe takes that quickly to the central defender, Steve Biko, who gets the ball to the advancing number five. Steve Biko now trying to get the ball forward to the team captain, who receives the ball. Not a very good one. Gets the ball on the right side of Steve Biko's attack. Ball being chested by the number 10, who tries to connect the number 25, Yanku Bature, on the right side of Steve Biko. Drills the ball into the 18-yard area. Adam Amani on a defensive mission was there and with a timely clearance. Kemo, a great, great start for Brikama United here from the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. And you could see that those glimpses from Brikama United in trying to get themselves from this relegation zone here, from the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. Yes, uh, very well. Pa. I mean, this is what they need to do. Uh, when you watch their, uh, the first game that they have played in the second round, this is how they attack. They try to make it so that they attack to uh, they attack maximally to uh, the op against the opponent that they are playing against. And you can only score goal when you attack against your opponent. I believe. I mean, this is the mentality uh, that they still comes into the second round with, uh, knowing that you can only uh, score goals when you are attacking your opponent. Uh, by that, your opponent will be making errors in their backline, and then you try to capitalize on those loopholes to making so that uh, you uh, sc uh, score against them so this is why they are playing like this uh, but uh, notably uh, I, I believe uh, the Sliman Osa one of the uh, uh, most experienced players as you see in on this pitch here is uh, is on form for become United side he is never rush on to the ball the way he plays the ball the way he dictates, dictates the game for become United is just uh, exceptionally well I mean his performance as well I believe uh, will be able to help the become United side into uh, the second round of games here but I mean all I know, it has been a brilliant start for the Brigham Base Club, Brigham United, and, and I believe if they continue to play like this in the first round, of course, I mean, their position, uh, they will uh, climb up uh, uh, with, uh, after a few games into the second, second round, that will better their position in the GFM Division 1 uh, standing by. A great, great game here that we're currently witnessing between Brigham United and Steve Biko, all coming to live from the Theatre of Entertainment, known to many as the Brigham Box Bar Mini Stadium, and Ibrahim Asi the base been rustled down by Adam Amane and the assistant referee waved in for an infringement in favor of the Bacau base club Steve Biko. In their own half, they will have the chance to effect this set piece. Steve Biko 
and we have already played eight minutes into nine minutes into this contest. The score remains nil apiece between Brickama United and Steve Biko. And wherever you might be getting our voices from, this live ball to ball commentary is coming to you live from the Brickama Box Bar Mini Stadium. And the game is currently live. Silla and Lamin's effort went straight into the gloves of Babukar Silla. Babukar Kebe receives the ball to the team captain Seni Bojan, who gets the ball to Kebe again. Kebe with a left footed drive trying to connect Lamin Jata. The ball seems to be too strong for Jata. Can he keep the ball in play? There we go. Lamin Jata receives the ball again for Brickama United. Trying to dribble past his mark and lost. He's footing and Kebe is currently on the ground and he will surely need medical attention. Babukar Kebe is currently on the ground for Brickama United and the central referee is already on the player. Kebe must have lost his footing and he's down injured, back on his feet. He seems to be limping and we believe he is going to be okay. He seems to be okay. He seems to be okay. He is going to continue. 29 on his back, Babukar Kebe. And this is Brikama United up against Steve Biko here. And this game is currently live at the Box Bar Mini Stadium. At the commentary desk for LSTV, this is Paul Amin Fadi. Kemo Kanyi, Momodo Bijalo, and behind the camera is Osman Kamara. This is Steve Biko in Brikama's half now. Ball being received by the number 18. Who gets the ball into the 18-yard area? Easy time for the Brikama goalie. Bubakar Silla. There we go, an arm throw. This time to Lamin Jata, who will try to get the ball to Ibrahim Baji. Baji to Babukar Kebe, who gets the ball quickly to Korea on the left side of Brikama's attack. Brikama will try to get the ball forward. Enjoying possession here at the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. And we have a great presence of the supporters of the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. Or the supporters of Brikama United, rather. Adam Amane receives the ball from Ismaila Jiba. Jiba chips the ball into the 18-yard area, trying to connect Korea. This is Korea for Brikama United, sweeps the ball into the 18. Is it time for the central defenders for Steve Biko, who will try to get the ball forward? Ball being picked up and chested down by the advancing number 10, who tries to side or strides forward for Steve Biko. Still Steve Biko, ball being picked up there by the number 10 again. Who gets the ball on the far side? Momodu Sajo to the number 20 to Ibrahim Sidibe. Steve Biko now trying to get the ball forward into Brikama's half. Ball being blocked in there by Adam Amani. And this time Steve Biko will try to build an attack from their own half. Also enjoying the ball in their own half. Ball being picked up there by the number 23 and team captain for the Bakao base club, Steve Biko. Lamin is Bujang. This time it is the number 25 who picks possession. Yankuba Ture. Steve Biko enjoying possession. And they are also trying to settle here at the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. We have played 20, 12 minutes into this contest and the score remains barren between Brikama United and Steve Biko. Brikama sits on 14 position with 15 points while Steve Biko on 6 position with 25 points. And there we go. Ibrahima City Best strides forward. Ibrahima hard spells with Real de Banjul. Could not keep the ball in play. And the ball runs, rolls out of play for a Brikama United. For a Brikama United goal kick. And we have played 12 minutes into this contest, Momodu Bijalo, an impressive game here between Brikama United and Steve Biko. Brikama knowing fully well that a victory for them will surely get them out of the relegation zone. Whilst Steve Biko will want to have a victory away from home to better their standing, possibly move them from sixth position to a better standing as far as the GFF men's division one is concerned. I thank you. As you said, a win for Brikama will be a very, very, a huge plus for the team while a win for Steve Biko also is going to be a plus for them. But at the moment, no goal yet. Brikama is dominating as ball position is concerned because they want to finish the game with the three point while Steve Biko are playing very very carefully at their back because coming away if you able to get a point where the leak is is a huge plus for your team while Brikama they are a bit struggling in the league this season as they finish 
as they finish 15 position in the first round now seeking for wins to see themselves to go away from the relegation zone they need to fight they need to do all they could to get a win or to get at least a point in this game because if you if you fail to win your opponent at your back win automatically it will be a problem for Brikama who are struggling but a win here today will able to give the team confidence to see them at least believe what they are playing for or what they are yearning for to happen but at the moment they could not score they are really really playing as i say earlier what ball position is concerned <coughs> but steve pico who are at currently occupying six position are doing because anytime steve pico faces brickama united it is a very difficult for both sides looking at the first round when Brickham travel to Bakau to face this side Steve Pico win that game and today they are away to Brickham Brickham also will want to win this game and Steve Pico will want to maintain that record against Brickham United so in that case it would be an easy contest between these two sides Thank you very much, Momodu Bijalo. And there we go now. Brikama United, Ibrahim Apache, trying to dribble past his marker, gets the ball low. And great control from Steve Biko. They will try to get the ball from their own half. And Steve Biko now, the number 25. Lamines Bojang strides forward, trying to get the ball forward. Mal kicked, still going. Lamines Bojang, and this time, Lamarana Jalo on a defensive mission. And Lamarana was just there to clear his line. And a corner for the Bacau Base Club, Steve Biko. And we will also try to switch to other venues to get you results across the, or across other venues. And we have, as we have some other games that are also on the way. We have Brikama United taking on Steve Biko here at the Brikama Box Bamini Stadium. And we have played over 20 minutes and the score remains barren, nil a piece between Brikama and Steve Biko. And elsewhere in Basuri, it is currently 20 minutes on the clock. Bombarda nil, Gambia Armed Forces nil. And TMT, strong header from the number 27 and centre forward Lamin Silla. But his effort sealed off target. And a goal kick to Brikama United. Just as I said, in Basuri it is Bombarda nil, Gambia Armed Forces nil. And we'll also try to get you some other results as Team Rhino is also currently playing against TMT, which is also on a nil-nil scoreline. And Brikama, just as I said, against Steve Biko are also on a nil-nil scoreline. And we will try to be moving from one venue to another in trying to get you the results as they unfold. This is at the Brikama Box Bamini Stadium now. Babukar Silla in goal for Brikama, who gets the ball to Ismail Ajiba. And Ismail could not control the ball, and the ball went out of play for a, for a throw-in. Musa Conte takes that quickly for Steve Biko. It is the GFF Men's Division 1 game between Brikama United and Steve Biko in the week 17 of this year's GFF Men's Division 1. And Brikama United are currently on 14th position with 15 points, while Steve Biko on 6th position with 25 points. And this live commentary is coming to you live from the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. And the game is also live on LSTV1 on both Facebook and YouTube. At the commentary desk, Parliament for the Kemo Kanyi, Momodu Bijalo behind the camera is Osman Kamara. And this game, or this game rather, is live on Facebook and YouTube. You can like, share, and also send us comments. This is Steve Biko to the goalkeeper Lamin Bai, who gets the ball quickly on the right side. Musa Jete into the center of the pitch. Steve Biko to the team captain number 23, Lamin S. Bojang, who plays the ball quickly to the central defenders. For Steve Biko now, who will surely try to get the ball forward to the right side of the attack, number 27. Number 25, rather, Yankuba Ture, great control to the team captain and number 23. 
who sweeps the ball on the far side to Ibrahim Asedi, who tries to dribble past his marker. Asedi still going, gets the ball into the gloves of Babu Karsila, who guarded that ball with ease. Gets the ball quickly. And a better turnout here from the Brickhammer Box Bar Mini Stadium as the fans of Brickhammer United are getting into the Box Bar Mini Stadium as they try to rally behind the team. Brickhammer United, this is Korea who floats the ball into the 18 yard area, trying to connect Seni Bojang and the central defender, one of the wing backs, Ibrahim Masidibe, was there on a defensive mission for Steve Biko. And definitely, we believe Kemo. Ramadan must be having its toll on the players here. Looking at the starting of the game, it used to be a high-pressing game, but I think the tempo has been dropped. Looking at the Brickhammer United side and also Steve Biko, we believe Ramadan must have its toll on the players here at the Box Bar Mini Stadium. Yes, uh, very well. First in six, uh, morning or two uh, this time uh, without drinking water, and then you have to play, uh, be competing in the 90. For 90 minutes, it's not going to be uh, something that is going to be easy with the players. Uh, yeah, um, when you watch the games in the Ramadan, you can uh, spot out the difference uh, between the games in the Ramadan and non-Ramadan games. You will see that uh, there will be more energy that player will be putting in uh, when they are not fasting. But uh, when they are fasting, you will see them uh, putting some more energy. But as the game moves uh, towards the uh, near end, then uh, you will see, you can uh, uh, also realize that their energies uh, are also dropping. So well, let's see what happens here because I mean they they must be prepared for it uh, knowing that they must play the whole 90 minutes when, when as they are fasting so uh, they are prepared mentally for the 90 minutes that they are going to play I mean so they, what they will need is to make sure they employ the, the tactics that they will need that will help them to uh, complete the game as they wish to uh, play against the opponent side but I mean nonetheless uh, both players both, the, both uh, players uh, both teams that are uh, uh, I can find with players that are currently fasting since morning, so uh, let's see what happens here. But um, Ramadan, as you have said, is getting its toll on the uh, players here. But nonetheless, uh, so they will be prepared for it because in uh, most of the teams here train in the morning. So when you are fasting, you train in the morning and then uh, stay until uh, the, uh, the time that you need to break your fast. So coming into the game as well, you will be mentally prepared that, that there will be 90 minutes that I will need to run after the ball. And when it is highly competitive, so you expect. Uh, to uh, making sure that you stand by it and then uh, play up to the whole 90 minutes if that uh, if you need to play in. But uh, all in all, this has been an interesting game that we have been currently watching uh, between the two sides. Uh, Steve Biko are now currently uh, coming into the game after uh, after some time after a brilliant start by Kama United. But as for now, Steve Biko are also trying to. Uh, uh, put some pressure on the Brigama United defense so that they will be able to uh, score against them. But I mean, Brigama has also been doing a uh, fantastic against this team because side. But they still need it. Uh, both defense lines are working very hard. Both teams are working very hard to uh, deny the opponent from scoring against them. But uh, we are hoping to see at least a goal here before the game ends. Part. Thank you very much, Kemo Kanye. And the game is currently on hold as Korea Dominic is currently receiving medical attention on the far side of the pitch. He's been struck by the ball after that delivery from the team captain and number 23 for Steve Biko Lamin S. Bojan. And the player is off the pitch and Brikama will try to build an attack from their own half. This time it is Lamin Jata who strides forward. And the number three on right wing back for Steve Biko was there on a defensive mission, Musa Jata. And just as I said earlier, Ramadan will surely have its toll on the players. Equally, those are the commentary that might also be in the same position as Ramadan, might also have its toll on us. Anyway, this time it is the number 25 who receives the ball from Demba Bojang. And he was trying to get the goalkeeper of guard, but Sidi or Bubakar Silla was a large enough to gather that ball comfortably. Ball being received by Steve Biko again, trying to cause some problems for Brickhammer United. This time it is the number 10, Momodu Sajo, who strides forward. And the ball is too strong for the number 10. Sajo Momodu for Steve Biko. And Brickhammer United will benefit from a goal kick. A cloudy afternoon here at the Brickhammer Box Bar Mini Stadium and I believe this condition will definitely be very much favorable to the players as most of the players are currently fasting 
that are currently representing Brikama United and Steve Biko. We are in the Ramadan and Lent and we believe both Muslims and Christians are fasting and all these players that we, we are seeing here are either Muslims or Christians. There we go, Steve Biko, goalkeeper, Lamin by power that ball, trying to connect the number 27 up front. Lamin Silla, who outpaces his marker. Let's see what he's going to do, and scores! The number 27 for Steve Biko, Lamin Silla, is indeed their leading goal scorer. And made no mistake by firing home to give a commanding lead to Steve Biko here at the Brickhammer Box Bar Mini Stadium. Came out, we have played 24 minutes on the clock. Steve Biko leads here at the Brickhammer Box Bar Mini Stadium in front of the Brickhammer supporters. Brickhammer United needs to come from a goal down if they want to have anything as far as this game is concerned. And then it is the goal scorer or the leading goal scorer and the centre forward for Steve Biko. Lamin Silla who made no mistake by firing home to give that commanding lead to the back of base club Steve Biko. 24 minutes on the clock. Steve Biko leads at the Brickhammer Box Bar Mini Stadium. Cortes of Lamin Silla. Yes, uh, I think Lamin Silla's uh, speed there uh, has done a uh, uh, very important uh, thing for him to uh, make him so he put that in the back of the net because you can see the uh, Lama was struggling to catch up with his speed and as, as he moved with the ball and uh, he's uh, um, leaving Lama with at a distance to, uh, that he, he went I mean, solo with the goalkeeper and then tapped the ball home. That was a brilliant take from uh, the centre forward and then uh, Steve Biko have now taken the lead here against the home side, Brikama United. But I mean, the game is still far from over. I mean, anything can happen here as the game proceeds. So let's see what happens here. But Lamin Silla's uh, speed there was, I mean, just <coughs> phenomenal. I mean, Lama uh, find it very, very difficult to uh, match uh, the speed of Lamin Silla. And then uh, he could not catch up with him. And then Lamin Silla has to go on to uh, put the ball in the, the back of the net to uh, give a lead. Uh, an, an advantage to his side that uh, Steve Biko FCA against the home side become United uh, who are hoping to continue their fine form into the uh, second round. Steve Biko uh, uh, in the start of the league they were struggling was as the league, uh, the league uh, is getting uh, is growing I mean they are uh, improving game after game so this is why I think their positioning on the table is also uh, very very good uh, uh, in, uh, compared to that of the uh, Brickham United side. So, well, let's see, Brickham are playing at home and if the fans are here, I mean, uh, they are, the, turn out, the turnout for the fans here is better than I, um, uh, any of the games that I have watched Brickham United play in the uh, first round. In the first round, but uh, this is in the Ramadan as well. So, let's see what, what they will be able to, what their response will be uh, after Steve Bingo have scored against them here in their home of Park. There we go. And that's a foul being awarded to Ismail Ajiba for Brikama United. It seems the central defender for Steve Biko, Usman Cham, Usain Cham rather, isn't happy with that decision. But anyway, the central referee has the final say. That is indeed at a great position for Brikama United to deliver. Inches of the 18-yard area. And Brikama United will have the opportunity to restore parity if they can rely or if they can have somebody to deliver this effort. They have Babu Karkebe, who is indeed a dead ball specialist. And we have to wait and see who takes this delivery for the Brikama base club, Brikama United. We have almost all their players around the ball. And Steve Biko are also having all their players are behind the ball in trying to defend this ball. And the number 27 and centre forward, Lamin Silla, is the leading goal scorer and he is the guy that Steve Biko will always rely on and whenever you rely on him he always delivers and he delivers beautifully here at the Brickhammer Box Bar Mini Stadium by nodding home that beautiful effort to give Steve Biko the commanding lead from the Brickhammer Box Bar Mini Stadium and this time Brickhammer United will now have the opportunity to restore parity after going down by a goal to nil in front of their home supporters here at the Brickhammer Box Bar Mini Stadium you have Seni Bojang, Babu Karkebe, Ismail Ajiba, Jonathan Korea or Dominic Korea, not Jonathan Jonathan is currently on the, with the under 20 in Accra, Ghana and Suleiman Osaho who takes this delivery remains the question but shortly we will know who takes this delivery for Brikama United but we believe it's going to be either Babukar Kebe, Anderson or Suleiman Osaho Babukar Kebe might be the player to deliver this and he is indeed a dead ball specialist Kebe Bubakar can he deliver the good for Brikama United? 
Kebe Bobakar 29 on his back. Brikama United supporters will solely rely on Kebe to deliver something for them. Power that goal! Inches off target. And Steve Biko survived. And the technical bench for Steve Biko must be on their nerve as Bubakar Kebe delivers that effort. His effort went off target and that was very close for Brikama United to restore parity. But as far as the score is concerned, Brikama United still trails Steve Biko by a goal to nil in front of their home supporters at the Brikama Box Bar Ministerium. Suleiman Osao, not a very good pass. Ball being received by the number 17 or 27 now. Up front for Steve Biko. Can they get something here? On a one-on-one -on -one situation. There we go! The player goes to ground and that's a penalty. That's a penalty for Steve Biko. And Steve Biko will now have the opportunity to double the lead here in front of the Brikama supporters here. And this time, it is the number 25, Yanguba, Yankuba Ture, who goes to ground. And Demba Bojang has been shown his marching orders by the central referee. Things are definitely not going the way as expected for Brikama United. They are on the verge of going 2-0 down here at the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. And Steve Biko will solely rely on the centre forward and number 27, Lamin Silla, who got the first goal to poke home the second to give a 2-0 advantage to Steve Biko here at the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. And Brikama United will solely rely on their goalkeeper, Bubakar Silla, to save this effort from Steve Biko. Steve Biko currently leading by a goal to nil, having the advantage to double their lead at the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. It is the centre forward Lamin Silla up against Bubakar Silla. The Silla brothers will face off Lamin Silla against Bubakar Silla. Steve Biko will have the opportunity to double their lead. Silla scores! And he, he did that beautifully by firing home and Steve Biko leads here by two goals to nil against Brikama United. Kemo Kanye, things are definitely not going well for Brikama United as they trail here by two goals to nil against Steve Biko. Yes, uh, but not at all as the game is currently. I mean, it is still uh, two nil in favour of Steve Biko. Sadly, that this is the away game, away team rather, against uh, Brikama United. So, um, let's see what their response will be. Um, the, the, uh, it is uh, already 30 we are now in the 32nd minute of the play yeah, and Brikama United is down by two goals to nil and uh, currently uh, what we see uh, as uh, we have been witnessing here, Steve Biko is currently uh, dominating uh, especially when it comes to uh, creating uh, chances here, yeah, the attacks, I think uh, the technical bench of Brikama United uh, would need to uh, talk to their defence line I mean they are finding it very very difficult to cope with the attacking threat that uh, Steve Biko is uh, having is currently imposing on to uh, them whenever they are attacking. You see Lamin Silla's connection with the weather has uh, number 10 Mungu Sajo there is also is always a very very uh, brilliant one and as well that of their number, the number 25 for the Steve Bebo side also Young Baturi is also a very very quick player so this uh, front three for the Steve Bebo side are very very quick players uh, so Brikama is uh, st struggling the defense line for Brikama is struggling to uh, to match the the, 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 the game that they are playing here so that is uh, making the game very very difficult for the Brigham United side. I think the front three for the Steve Bigo side, Lamin Silla, uh, Yang Kwaturi and that of Mohamed Sajo, um, um, Brigham United defense line is too good against uh, these three uh, players in the way they are attacking, the way they are creating chances and the way they are connecting to one another. I mean, it is making uh, ga the game very very difficult for the Brigham United side but I, I believe uh, the technical bench is watching up uh, the way they, play, they are playing so uh, when they go into the halftime or in fact before going to the halftime, they will try to do something about that part. Brikama needs to do something. They need to wake up as they trail here by two goals to nil against the traveling Steve Biko side, who got two goals in the very first half here at the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. This time, ball been cleared by Buba Karsila, strongly challenging there by Steve Biko. Can they keep the ball in play? Ball been received by Suleiman Osaho, who gets the ball quickly to Buba Karkebe, to the team captain, Sieni Bojang, who goes to ground. Still, Brikama United, advantage awarded by the central referee. This time, it is Korea, Dominic, who floats the ball into the 18-yard area. Timely clearance from Steve Biko, and it's going to be a Brikama United throw-in. Ball being received by Ismail Ajiba, floats the ball into the 18-yard area. And another clearance from Steve Biko as Brikama United continue to 
trail here by two goals to nil against the traveling Steve Biko side. Brikama needs to get something. They need to score two if they want to have anything as far as this game is concerned. If they can score two, they will surely surrender. Every point to the traveling Bacau base club Steve Biko who leads here by two goals to nil. Ball being floated into the 18 yard area. Cleared by Steve Biko, partially cleared, finally cleared by Steve Biko. Received by Suleiman Osaho to Kebe Bubakar on the left side of Brikama's attack. Kebe now gets the ball to Korea. Korea deals the ball low. Ball being blocked in there by the number 23. And team captain Lamin S. Bojang for Steve Biko. An enjoyable game here between these two sides as Brikama United prepares to come from tier two goal down to better this scoreline here. But Steve Biko wouldn't want to have it easy against Brikama United as they lead here by two goals to nil. Ball being floated. Cleared by the central defender. Suleiman Osaho with another one. Cleared by Steve Biko and the ball struck the player for Steve Biko and the player is currently on the ground. And he is going to be assisted by the team of medics at the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. And already we have played 35 minutes into this contest. Mamadou Bijalo, Brikama United. Two goals down here at the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. Seemingly, things are definitely not going well for Brikama United this afternoon. Definitely, Brikama have a mountain to climb. If they want to win, they have to push harder more than what they are doing currently. Steve Biko are very, very dangerous at their front line because they are deadly. Whenever you are deadly, you are already there. Look at the goals they score. Look at the pace they take. Look at the quality they made. Look at the finish from that young striker, Brikama United. Defenders need to be very, very careful because conceiving two goals within 10 minutes is a very, very, it's a bad, very bad for the defenders because look at where these boys come from and where the defenders, what the defenders were doing is so, so dangerous because look at the first goal, Lamarana should do better before allowing that boy to move with that ball and look at the second goal too Krasko need to do more effort than what he done because he is very fast and that number 25 of Steve Biko very very fast too you should not he should not allow that ball that boy to move with the ball inside the 18 yard i think he was there to be very very careful but at the latter part of their movement he pulled that boy in the 18 yard that caused the penalty and while you are looking for a win you are now two goal down it is so so difficult for you to win in our this league here because before you score one and score the second going for the third the time might be over for you here then Brickhamber United need a miracle they need prayers to come to come from two goals down to win this game here today at the Brickhamber Mini Stadium Park Thank you very much, Momodu Bijalo. And there we go. We are live from the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium in the GFF Men's Division 1. Game between Steve Biko and Brikama United. And we are approaching the 40th minute here. Brikama United currently down by two goals to nil against the traveling Steve Biko, a team based in Bakau. Ismail Ajiba strides forward, gets the ball to Ibrahim Abaji, who receives the ball beautifully. Baji. Left-footed Ibrahim Abaji to Suleiman Osaho, who drills the ball low to the advancing Kebe Bubakar. Quickly to Ismail Ajiba, who gets the ball to Adam Amane around the 18-yard area. Let's see what they will surely do. Ismail Ajiba gets the ball again. Can they get something? Brikama scores! And this time it is Ibrahim Abaji who pulled one back for Brikama United. Kemo Kang, interesting game here. Brikama United pulled one back to um, Ibrahim Abaji. And there we go. Interesting, interesting affair here between Brikama United and Steve Biko. Yes, and all important goal for Brikama United. So you look at the build up, the, the, uh, it was a fantastic uh, play that was done by the Brikama United side. Um, they played um, during the, uh, uh, the right back there uh, and that of Ismail who uh, were knocking the ball around and then Ismail uh, uh, finally uh, placed the ball uh, beautifully for the Ibrahim Abadi who knocked the ball home for, uh, 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 for uh, the Brikama United side. It is uh, two 
goes to one now in favor of Steve Nikuna, but the game is far from over, but as I have said, the game is playing at home. So when you are playing at home, you have so many advantages, especially right now that they have pulled one back before the halftime break, before the halftime is always gone. So uh, it is uh, still uh, far from over. Yes, uh, if they have uh, they will need to uh, score two more goals without uh, Steve Biko uh, responding to any of those ones if they want to uh, win this particular game. So I believe it is going to be uh, very, very interesting here, especially in the uh, second half. Currently, we are in the 48th minute into the play here. So let's see what hap what will happen here in before the end of the first half or, or uh, be when the second half resumes here. But, but uh, the game is getting more interesting here as Brigham have already pulled one back. A lively, lively game coming to you live from the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. And uh, there we go, that's a handball as waved by the central referee. Uh, I, I think I have a coach who will always tell you a 2 nil score line is always dangerous. When one is pulled back, you are mostly under pressure. And I think this is what is happening to Steve Biko here. They were leading comfortably 2 nil, And when Brikama United pulled one back, it seems Brikama United seems to have controlled the game here in causing some trouble troubles for the Bacau base club Steve Biko. A lively, lively game here between Brikama United and Steve Biko. And it is never over until it is all over. Let's wait and see what the final result will surely get us here. As Brikama United trails here by two goals to one. Steve Biko scored two first. Brikama pulled one back. Approaching the... Oh, all, we have all, already played 40 minutes into this contest. And the score remains 2-1 in favor of the Bacau base club Steve Biko. There we go. Suleiman Osao with a clearance, trying to connect Saini Bojang up front. Brikama picks possession again. This is Adam Amane on the right side of Brikama's attack. Mane to Ibrahim Abaji, back to Adam Amane again, who gets the ball back to the auto of Brikama's goal. Ibrahim Abaji, back heel to Adam Amane, who controls the ball beautifully. Back to Ibrahim Adam. Did I say Adama? Back to Ibrahim Abaji. And Ibrahim's effort struck the player for Steve Biko and Brikama United will benefit from a throw in on the right side of the attack. Brikama desperately in search of the second goal here as they are currently playing in front of their home supporters at the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. Ibrahim Abaji goes to ground. And that's an infringement awarded to the boys in red Brikama United who are currently trailing by two goals to one against Steve Biko. And Steve Biko got their two goals through their centre forward and number 27, Lamin Silla. And Silla is indeed the leading goal scorer for the Bacau base club, Steve Biko. And Brikama United pulled one back through the number 11, Ibrahim Apache. And it, that's an infringement awarded to Brikama United. And the central referee is currently having a word with Ismail Ajiba as Babukar Kebe prepares to deliver. This set piece for Brikama United. Approaching half time here at the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. This is Kebe Abubakar. Right footed delivery, floats the ball. And the number 27, Lamin Silla, on a defensive mission, heads the ball out for a throw into Brikama, who takes that quickly. Kebe strides forward. Kebe Abubakar. Babukar Kebe trying to use the right side of Brikama's attack to get something. And his effort struck the player, Ibrahim Asidibe. For Steve Biko takes that quickly. Ibrahim gets the ball into the 18-yard area. Great turn, Ismail Ajiba. Ball being headed out by Steve Biko. Saini Bojang on a defensive mission. Gets the ball back to Demba Bojang for Brikama United. Gets the ball quickly to Korea, who will use the left side of Brikama's attack. Throws the ball. Is that right? Give me Big Malaysia. Brikama United scores. And the flag stays down. And Ibrahim Abaji with another goal. And Brikama United restored parity here from the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium coming from two goals down to restore parity at the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. Crazy, crazy scenes here came up Kanye at the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. Yes, uh, very well. Uh, the, fans, the fans love that you can hear that the fans are from the uh, and the fans are here uh, to make it so that they stand by their team. So uh, when you are home, two nil down, so uh, pulling one back at the right time and also coming here to uh, pull another one here. Now, step big up. You can see uh, the disappointment from the face of their, their players and even from their technical bench. So that this uh, goal will boost the confidence of the Brigham United side and uh, they will have every belief that they will be able to win this particular game because uh, they were led here by two goals to nil and now and now they are level here just uh, on the stroke of the half time in the 33rd minute here at the 43rd. Uh, 
forty third rather meet here at the Freedom of Box One Stadium. Um, you were trained by two goals to nil, and now that you have come from two nil down to two two, now uh, they have every confidence. They will have every belief that they will be able to win this particular game. And if so, they win this particular game. Uh, any team that will have to stop them, especially from the Brigham Box Family Stadium, will have to fight a lot to make sure they stop this Brigham United side uh, with the confidence that they will be having. Approaching half time here, the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium, as we have already played 43 minutes into this contest. It is from two goals down to 2 2 Brikama United, are currently on a 2 2 scoreline against Steve Biko here. Steve Biko scored two quick goals in the first half, and Brikama United restored parity getting themselves back into level terms in front of their home supporters here at the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. Lively, lively game here between Steve Biko and Brikama United. This time it is Seni Bojan, team captain, gets the ball to Babakar Kebe, who has been man-marked by Steve Biko, goes to ground, no foul given by the central referee. Steve Biko will use the left side of the attack, Lamarana Jalo, on a defensive mission. And will try to guard that ball off the pitch and a, through, and a goal kick to Brikama United. Steve Biko scored two quick goals through their centre forward Lamin Silla. And Ibrahim Abaji restored the parity for Brikama United by scoring the two goals for Brikama United as well. It's two goals for Lamin Silla and two goals for. Ibrahim Abaji and already we have exhausted the 45 minutes and this assistant or the fourth assistant referee has already put up a two minutes additional time here at the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium and Brikama United and Steve Biko needs to score in two minutes or else they will be getting back to the dressing room with a 2-2 scoreline and we have to wait and see what will surely be the result as far as this game is concerned and Steve Biko must have their morals down going up 2-0 and then Brikama United getting a 2-2 scoreline will definitely drop the morals of the players of Steve Biko. But anyway, if this is football for you, you can be leading 3-0 and then you can be pegged back. There we go, Steve Biko now gets the ball to the central defender who receives the ball, gets the ball to the goalkeeper Lamin Bai, Bai with a clearance and you could hear those shouts from the democracy end of the Brikama Box Bahamini Stadium who are there to rally behind Brikama United, great back hill, Suleiman Osao gets the ball to Ibrahima Baji, the auto of Brikama United goals, Baji Ibrahima, left footed drive trying to connect the centre forward, ball being cleared by Steve Biko to the advancing number 25 who heads the ball. Demba Bojang to Adam Amane. Ball being received by Lamin Silla for Steve Biko on the right side or left side of Steve Biko's attack. Ibrahim Sidibe who strides forward. Sidibe to the team captain. Number 23, Lamin S. Bojang. Steve Biko. This time it is Steve Biko and they have their player on the ground. And the player goes to ground. And Steve Biko, this is the team that was once coached by the coach of the national under 20 Abdullah Bojang and currently the team is being coached by coach Adnan Musa and Brikama United are on the watchful eyes of Serif Jalo. This is a delivery for Steve Biko who are preparing to deliver this effort here and all these things are coming to you live from the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium and it is live on LSTV1 on both Facebook and YouTube. There we go, the central referee has There we go. It seems the, the goalkeeper, the goalkeeper seems not to be happy with that decision. But the central referee has the final say. And coach Adnan Musa is not happy with the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper seems to be protesting. But anyway, Brikama United must be very much happy here. Coming from two goals down to restore parity in front of their home supporters. And there we go. This is where we're going to bring an end as far as the first half live ball to ball commentary is concerned. We are also going to have a 15 minutes break. We wouldn't have a sip of the water. We will have a 15 minutes of break and we will be back for the continuation of the live ball to ball commentary. Coming to you live from the ball, uh, Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium and also live on LSTV1 at the commentary deck. This is Paul Amin Fati. Kemo Kanye, Momodu Bijalo, and behind the camera is Osman Kamara. We are off for a 15 minutes and we'll be back for the continuation. Until then, bye from us till we come your way in the next 15 minutes. <laughs>
Welcome back to the continuation of the commentary from the Brikama Box Spa Mini Stadium. This is just the commencement of the second half between Brikama United and Steve Biko. This time, Lamin Silla goes to ground and Steve Biko will benefit from the very first infringement of the second half. And Steve Biko will build an attack from their own half. This time, it is Usainu Cham who receives the ball back to the central defender. Steve Biko will try to start from their own half as Brikama United rallies behind the ball. Lamarana Jalo with a header to Korea. Dominic, ball being received by Brikama United. They've been dispossessed. This time it is Steve Biko who controls the build ball beautifully to Ibrahim Sidibe on the left side of the attack. Great interchange of passes to the number 10 who strides forward. Trying to connect Ibrahim Sidibe. This time Sidibe. Demba Bojang dived to his left and cleared that danger for Brikama United. And the first corner of this contest, as far as the second half is, is concerned, went to Steve Biko. Mal kicked Brikama United, picks possession. Ismail Ajiba, who strides forward, trying to cause some problems, no foul given. Ball being received by the team captain and number 23, Seni Bojang on a defensive mission. And that's a throw in to Steve Biko. Ibrahim Asidibe will take that for the Bakao Base Club. Steve Biko to the team captain who chested the ball down. Trying to connect the player up front. Lamarana Jalo on a defensive mission. Ismail Ajiba strides forward. Trying to dribble past a group of Steve Biko players. No foul given. Ismail goes to ground. And the central referee waved in for a play on. Number five, Landing Sanyang to his defensive partner on the right side of Steve Biko's attack. Musa Jete. This is Steve Biko now. Brikama trying to cause some problems. Seni Bojang. This is Steve Biko. Can they get something? Ibrahim Bojang. Or oh, Ibrahim Baji handled that ball and the central referee waved in for an infringement. A handball awarded to Steve Biko. And it's a 2-2 scoreline here between Steve Biko and Brikama United. Steve Biko scored first through their centre forward Lamin Silla who got a brace in the first half and Brikama United restored parity through Ibrahim Baji also with a brace ball being chested by Demba Bojang to Dominic Kuria this time Kebe Bubakar who gets the ball to Kuria now on the left side of Brikama's attack who tries to connect Seni Bojang landing Sanyang with a defensive options Steve Biko, Brikama regain possession. It is Bobakar Kebe who goes to ground and the central referee rewards him with an infringement. In the opposition's half, quickly taken by Brikama United, Ismail Ajiba to Lamarana Jalo. This time it is Adama Mane, Ismail Ajiba, known to many as Messi. Adama gets the ball back to Lamarana Jalo. Lamarana checks back to the goalkeeper, Bubakar Silla, for Brikama United. It is Brikama United up against Steve Biko at the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. This game is 14th position against 6th position. Brikama United on 14th position with 15 points, while Steve Biko on 6th position with 25 points. It is Coach Adnan Musa up against Coach Sheriff Jalo. This is Adam Amane who tries to get the ball to Ismail Ajiba. Ismail fired, not a very good one. Korea regained possession for Brikama United. Let's see what he will surely do here. Korea floats the ball and ball been blocked in there by Steve Biko. And Brikama United who are coached by Sheriff Jalo. And Sheriff Jalo is not seen on the dugout for Brikama United this evening. Anyway, we can confirm as to his absence. But it seems Adam Sabali and all the technical members are the ones on the dugout this evening for Brikama United. This is going to be a delivery for Kebe Bubakar who floats the ball into the 18 yard area. Ball being palmed away by the goalkeeper. Lamin by for Steve Biko. Ball being picked up there by Ibrahim Asidibe. Ibrahim trying to dribble past Ismaila. And this time it is the team captain for Steve Biko who tries to get the ball forward. Still going the team captain. And he's been rustled by Ibrahim Abaji. And the central referee awards an infringement to Steve Pico, who plays from our right to left. Quickly taken by Steve Pico. Can they get something here? Korea trying to control the ball for Brikama United. Korea, he's been dispossessed. And Steve Pico dispossessed. And Brikama will have the opportunity to effect a true in 
around the dividing line at the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. Kebe Bubakar to Ismail Ajiba. Brikama United from a goal down, or from two goals down, and currently on a 2 2 score line. Ismail Ajiba squares the ball to Ibrahim Abaji, who squares the ball further to Adam Amani on the right side of Brikama's attack. Adama trying to outpace his marker, gets the ball quickly to, Isma, to Saho. This is Suleiman Osaho, known to many as big. This is Ibrahim Abaji. Ibrahim floats the ball into the 18 yard area. Ball eludes everyone this time, Kebe. Not a very good kick from Kebe to Ibrahim Abaji. Brikama United trying to cause some problems for Steve Biko in the very first minutes of this contest. Suleiman Saho goes to ground. This is Ismaila. Ismaila tries to dribble past the central defenders. No foul given in the front of me. Over the ball. That was a goal scoring opportunity to Lamin Jata. The ball has been squared by Ismail Ajiba to the advancing Lamin Jata. Lamin Jata. But Lamin's right footed delivery sailed way over the bar. That he could have done better. Lamin Jata should have done better, Kemo, in the very first minutes of this second half here. And Brikama should be 3 2 up here at the Box Bar Mini Stadium. But Lamin Jata wasted that goal scoring opportunity. Yeah, that should have been an easy tap in by uh, Lamin Jata. But I mean, no, his, his connection with the ball was in a very good one. So um, he put the ball way over the crossbar and still Vigo survived from that. But uh, that could have been an early lead for Brikama in the sixth minute of the second half. They could have now been leading here by three goals to uh, two uh, coming from uh, two, two goals down so that would have been a, a very a very very good result for them but nonetheless uh, they are uh, they will also create uh, uh, some uh, goal scoring opportunities uh, as the game proceeds so Steve Bigo will also have their moments uh, we believe uh, but let's see what happens here whether Brikama or Steve Bigo is going home uh, with the win here uh, with the win here, uh, the game will decide that before the end of the regular 90 minutes here, uh, one of the sides here, at least I will be able to go home with the win. Thank you very much, Kemo Kanye. And back to the live ball to ball commentary. Coming to you live from the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. And the game is currently live on LSTV1 on both Facebook and YouTube. It's an interesting and lively game between Brikama United and Steve Biko. This time, after the commencement of the second half, Brikama United trying to cause some problems for the Bacau base club, Steve Biko. And quickly, Brikama or Steve Biko got the two goals first and they got the goals through the center forward. This is Suleiman Osa who goes to ground. Is that going to be a foul? The central referee awards an infringement to Steve Biko. Very close to the 18-yard area. Let's wait and see what the central referee will decide here. Steve Biko got two early goals through Lamin Silla, number 27. And center forward, Lamin Silla is the leading goal scorer for Steve Biko. He got a brace for Steve Biko and Brikama restored parity through Ibrahim Baji. And Ibrahim also got a brace for Brikama United in the, sec in the fourth half by scoring the two goals for Brikama United. And currently it is 2-2 between Brikama United and Steve Biko. And into the first minutes of the second half, Brikama United seems to be starting the second half brightly after going two goals down against Steve Biko. And they were able to restore parity. Mamadou Bijalo, it seems to be a, a very good second half for the Brikama United side since the commencement of the second half here. I think Brikama United players are answering because looking the game, they are here. Brikama United, we are two goals down. They come from behind to score, to equalize. And now they are looking for the third goal. And watching the game can tell you Steve Biko are really really struggling in the hands of Brikama United who really need a win and currently a free kick a free kick at the age of the 18 yard for Brikama United a dangerous position as free kicks are concerned looking because Brikama United got a player who are very very deadly when it comes to free kicks and they are at the age of the 18 yard. At the moment, nobody knows who will take that free kick for Brikama United. But Steve Biko should be very, very careful. And Brikama United, the way they are playing, if they continue, things maybe go right way as they wish it to be. At the moment, they are looking for it. 
That's a delivery for Brickama United. A delivery for Brickama United at a great position for the Sati Bar Boys. Babu Kebe and the scene. Lamin Jata Kebe! Off target and Steve Biko survived. And that's going to be a goal kick. Mbadi Mol Komi Kafale Drum Konalbe Bulakang Wala Koalbe Bulakang LSTV one no Makafale Drum Bale Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium Le Dami Alonko Me GFF Division One Game on Articale Mi Alon Kabe Box Bar uh Brikama United and in Steve Biko Tema. Kamunda ko sign thing second half on Bewole Kono uh Brikama United ye full soto Steve Biko Fana full soto and uh Brikama United Wala Steve Biko Wale follow goal full asko miela goal or score wale kata lime in silati drum uh ila striker a goal full asko janning uh, Brikama United, like Ibrahim Abaji, for number goal for Ascola. And I think, Kemo, we need to do justice for our local uh, viewers, those uh, that are watching us live on LSTV1. Uh, and Tabi and Atlas don't need to have come up. At least we have to get some uh, reactions and also some commentaries in the local language for the benefit of those those, those that might not be able to understand the English language. So, I'm going to talk about the people who are going to talk the people who are going to talk about 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 Goal flow ni mea ko Steve ko asko duli la jalo kono ye o goal flow ni mume ko ni sign. I think after that after that second round kono sign dem be play kan. Yeah, me do tengo la birka ma idol idol be ila tengo Steve ni ni birka ma jibe idol be ila table ni table jibe birka ma nora da mando idol be jamba ni ba ke idol be ni kigam birka jibe ma ko si ko relegation zone kono ni ame wa be par ni Steve ko jibe idol be table da mando wa la mando be sud la warren jamba do table ko kam. So itu adalah ligu berpetaring berkama United. Berkama ini sekurang orang aja saya. Bagi tim mula mula aku falling terbaik. Kalau ni adalah game uji bejam. Ying ye ye wap ye banyak orang ada buri jang kerana nak keling ani ani fena. Ini ada FF kepo fena pilih. Mereka aku mungkin ying orang ying do fara taro mandem borabe amu itu follow mu mepe JFF leka organise. Ini ada Real di Banyu lah ya, mianku iya dari la Firu Ropa Suri deh, Real di Banyu pude je, mianku maju ni apa tak? Emu mau kerja jana kelius ko, nara rapi nanti lah, berkamar nara nara kawin ko, ni lebih kerja game sepanjang untuk kabiring. JFF la second round of Murundana Purka Ajo Kamen Ko FF Ko Po Fana Nyo Fana Ndaka Raja Nyo Nebega Game Soba Nyo Udo Purka Ma Ye Fulo Mume Mentambi Da Yol Mume Yol Ganyi Yeros Ro Mume Yeros Ayan Nyo Nyo Saban Jangu Nyo Nyo Pelikan Jangu Bo Nyo Nyo Ligo Kamu Nyo Nyo Post Second Game Mo Nyo Nyo Pelikan Sayan Deng Ila Ila Ya Steve Biko Karaja Na Fula Dundi Jalo Kona Folo Yon Nada Kabonan Koma Kana Ka Fulo Nyo Mume Ta Ka Be Bondi Sayan Beda Amin Do Ebe Fula Fula Le Game Mo Nyo Be On Nepa Thank you very much Kemo Kanye. Katen tu baka drum kaje. William Kemo Kanye tu drum. Kami kafal drum ko nalar nalar kafal du bula kan nama LSTV one. Ning football one ning abe boka le nambri kama box bar mini stadium. Mil du play kan drum William Steve Biko dia nambri kama United. GFF la tungkum follow wala ko division one mi alon ko wale bina kala nambri kama box bar mini stadium. Ning kanye game one ning nalar le drum wale LSTV one timi me siri LSTV one dia wale parliament party. Kemo Kanye momo le bijalo mi benye kamera tu drum wale na Osman kamera tu drum mi mo na kamera mano. Dr. Kamal Dunka Mobi attend to back KJ back to the live ball to ball comment. Demba Bojang with a glancing header. Ball being picked up there by Steve Biko. Audama Mane controlled that ball beautifully. Trying to get the ball forward for Brikama United. Great turn by Ibrahim Abaji who had an incredible game this evening for Brikama United. Got, got a brace for the Sate Bar Boys. Ismail Ajiba chips the ball forward to Seni Bojang to chase. And Seni Toshuld with the central defender for Steve Biko. And that's going to be a corner for the boys in red, Brikama United. And 
We will also try to switch to other venues and bring you the results as they unfold. And we will try to get to... We will try to get to Basori. And we have played 20 minutes into the second half in Basori. And then... Gaff are back on level terms. Bombarda scored first. Gaff restored parity after 20 minutes into the second half in Basori. In a game between Gambia Armed Forces and Bombarda, ball been floated into the 18 yard area and cleared by Steve Biko. Ball been picked up there by the number 10, Momodu Sajo, who strides forward. Not a very good one. Adam Amane, Brikama, Suleiman Osao to Ismaila Jiba. Great control from Jiba Ismaila. Known to many in Brikama as Messi. To Korea, Dominic. Brikama United. To Ismail Ajib again. Brikama will try to get the ball forward. There is a player for them on the ground. Babu Karkebe plays the ball quickly to Demba Bojang. There is a player for Brikama United. Currently on the ground and he is going to receive medical attention from the team of medics from the Brikama Base Club, Brikama United. Indeed, an improved turnout here at the Brikama Box Bamini Stadium as their supporters pile in here too rally behind the team Brikama United. We hope that Brikama United will be able to make amends as far as the second round of games of the GFF Men's Division 1 is concerned. We go Brikama, we are, we are two goals down and they were able to restore parity through Ibrahima Baji. Currently a player for them receiving medical attention from the team of medics and Steve Biko and Brikama are currently on a 2-2 scoreline. Who will go home as the winner of this contest remains the question. As we all know in football it is never over until it is all over. We have to wait and see which team goes home as the winner or they're going to share the spoils at the Brikama Box Bar in the stadium. Currently it is 2-2 between them, Brikama United and Steve Biko. Steve Biko got the two goals through Lamin Silla who got a brace this afternoon for Steve Biko, whilst Brikama United also got Ibrahim Abaji on a brace. There we go, Adam Amane picks possession for Brikama United, plays the ball to the goalkeeper, Bubakar Silla. Babukar Silla for Brikama United, right footed delivery, trying to connect the team captain, Seni Bojang, mal control Seni, and the ball rolls into the gloves of Lamin Bai, who guarded that ball with ease. And coach, uh, coach Adnan Musa is preparing for a double substitution any moment. Lamarana Jalo heads the ball, not a very good one. Ball being received by Lamin Silla, who got a brace. Silla now trying his luck. Ball struck Lamarana Jalo. Ball being cleared by Adam Amane. And a player, Ibrahim Masidibe, goes to ground. And the central referee awards an infringement to Steve Biko. And Steve Biko will now have the opportunity to effect this set piece indeed at a promising position and Brikama United needs to rally behind this ball to defend this set piece. Brikama United this afternoon or evening rather are being coached by Adama Sabali who is the assistant to coach Serif Jalo and Steve Biko uh, been coached by Adnan Musa this evening at the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium and Steve Biko will have the opportunity to effect this. Brikama United needs to step up to defend this set piece. Team captain for Steve Biko, Lamines Bojang, and the number 10, Momodu Sajo, are the players currently on the ball. And the central referee is having a word with the players on the wall for Brikama United. Adam Amane, Ibrahim Abaji, and Suleiman Osaho on the wall for Brikama United. Brikama United will try to defend this ball here. As Steve Biko tries to get something as far as this, this set piece is concerned. I think Babu Karkebe is having a toshul with Ibrahim Sidibe for Steve Biko. The central referee will now call on the two players. And he is currently having a word with the players. The central referee giving his final warnings to the players. Kebe and Sidibe are back to their normal position. There we go. Let's see what Steve Biko will surely do. Ball will float it into the 18-yard area. Easy time for Bubakar Silla. And Silla came to the rescue of Brikama United. And Brikama United survived. There we go now. Lamin Jata strides forward. Ball being cleared by the number 18 and right wing back for Steve Biko. On the defensive mission, Musa Conte. And any moment from now, it's going to be a du dual substitution. Number 19, Omar Jabang and Falu Gay will be coming on for Steve Biko. There we go. Steve Biko cleared that danger. Brikama United on a defensive mission. Suleiman Osaho 
It's definitely incredible for Brickham United this evening. Ball been floated into the 18-yard area. Easy time for Steve Biko and their goalkeeper. Lamin Bai guarded that ball comfortably. Mbai Lamin is, the, is deputizing for Yukasi Sanyang, who is currently with the national under 20. For Steve Biko, there we go. Steve Biko picks possession through the number 17, Osman Sise. Steve Biko sweet the play, trying to connect Sidibe Ibrahim and Adam Amane on a defensive mission. Sidibe tries to get the ball forward to the number 10, who controlled the ball beautifully. Momodu Sajo for Steve Biko. This time it is the number 17 who tries his luck. Demba Bojang on a defensive mission. Clear his line for Brikama United. A lively, lively game between Brikama United. Ball been taken by Ismail Ajiba to Seni Bojang. And the flag is been raised against Seni Bojang, team captain and centre forward for Brikama United. And that will surely lead us to a double substitution. A dual substitution for Steve Biko. And Steve Biko are introducing Omar Jabang and Falu Gay. And they are getting off the number 17, Usman Sise, and the number 10, Momodu Sajo. Momodu Sajo and Usman Sise. Number 18 is off Musa Conte. Conte is off, and the number 10 is also off. Momodu Sajo. Musa Conte and Momodu Sajo are off and they have been replaced by Omar Jabang and Falu Gay. Back to the commentary now at the Brickham Box Bar Mini Stadium. And this game is live on LSTV1 on both Facebook and YouTube. Like, share and also send us comments. And the commentary that's Parliament for the Kemo Kanye. Momodu Bijalo and behind the camera is our ever-present and reliable Osman Kamara. Ball been floated up front. Steve Biko, can they get something here? And the ball rolls out of play for a goal kick to the Sateba boys of Brikama, who are currently on a 2-2 scoreline here against the travelling Steve Biko side from Bakau. This is, Keb, this is the goalkeeper, Silla Bubakar. Not a very good effort. Falu trying to connect Janko, Ibrahima Sidibe. This is Adam Amane, who controlled that ball beautifully for Brikama United. Kebe Anderson to the team captain, Seni Bojan, who turns beautifully. Spreads the ball to Ismail Ajiba. Ismail Ajiba trying to connect Lamin Jata on the left side of Brikama's attack. And Lamin could not hold on to the ball. And the ball rules out of play for... A throw in to... A throw in to Steve Biko. And we will surely try to get you the timing here. As the game is definitely lively. A lively, lively contest between Brikama United and... Steve Pico, and it is not a sunny evening at the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. It was in the sunny afternoon equally, as the atmosphere or the condition is very much favorable to both Brikama United and Steve Pico. We are in Ramadan and Lent, though, but the players um, they didn't struggle that much with the heat here. Anyway, it was very hot in, on, on, on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday in the Gambia. But anyway, this is Ismail Ajiba now, trying to get the ball forward for Brikama United. Great one from Jiba to Lamin Jata, who squares the ball to Ibrahima Baji, who got a brace for Brikama United. Baji Ibrahima to Ismail Ajiba. Brikama United trying to get themselves into the 18-yard area. Defensive work by the number three, Musa Chete, for Steve Biko. Steve Biko will try to get the ball forward to Lamin Silla. Let's see what they will surely do. Silla plays the ball quickly. Not a very good connection from Silla to the advancing number 17 who fails to control. Ibrahim Abaji floats the ball up front for Brikama United. Seni Bojang tries to control the ball and Seni. And it is still nil-nil between TMT and TMT and Team Rhino. And there we go. Ball being floated. Demba Bojang came rushing into the gloves. Into the gloves of the Brikama United goalkeeper, Babukar Silla. And it is still nil-nil between Team Rhino and TMT. And also it is 1-1 between Bombada and Gambia Armed Forces in Basuri. And the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium, it is also 2-2 between Brikama and the Seni Ismail Ajiba goes to ground. The little magician, told to many in Brikama Messi, goes to ground and Brikama United you could hear those claps coming from the supporters of Brickhammer United as they rally behind their players. It's going to be a substitution. Number 24 is coming off for Brickhammer United.
Je Lamin Jata is off and he's been replaced by Babukar Jata, number 24. That's going to be Bubakar Kebe. He is indeed a dead ball specialist. Let's see what he will surely do here. Power on the ball! Into the gloves of Lamin by in goal for Steve Biko. And by seems to be He's on the ground, back on his feet. That was a well-taken effort from Kebe Bubakar. That was going to get the goalkeeper on and on aware. And Mbai Lamin is the deputy goalkeeper for Yuka Sanyang, who is currently on national duty with the under 20 in Accra, Ghana. This is Brikama United against Steve Biko now at the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. Korea, can he keep the ball in play this time? And the ball rolls out of play for a throw in for the boys in white and black, Steve Biko, Brikama United will surely try to rally behind this ball. Kemo, we have played 26 minutes into this encounter and into, as for, into the second half. The score remains two apiece between Brikama United and Steve Biko. We can have a winner here and we, will, we can definitely have a winner as far as this contest is concerned. As both Brikama United and Steve Biko, we didn't want to go home with a point. Their intention will be to go home with maximum points. Yes, uh, especially the local people on the other side. They will want to go home. in at do at your own top but uh, remember the game has started uh, uh, the game the way the game was going it was going very well for them but the players have fought uh, very well in the first half to level the matters but I mean all and what they will be uh, mostly satisfied with is the a win here at least uh, to uh, move away from the uh, bottom spot to making sure that they uh, better their standing because they are playing at home home games are very very important especially when you are struggling uh, and then you find your way now coming into the uh, game. So I believe uh, the Kamoinari will want to win this. Uh, they will be satisfied uh, uh, with uh, the maximum three points if they had to uh, make, if they had to get that one for, from this particular game. Thank you very much, Kemo Kanye. A double substitution for Steve Biko. A double substitution any moment for the Bakau Base Club. Ball being floated by Brikama United, too strong, eludes every player. Saini Bojang chases, could not control the ball, and the ball rolls out of play for a throw into back the Bakau base club, Steve Biko, who are currently on a 2 2 scoreline against Brikama United. Ball being taken quickly, follow the new entrant for Steve Biko, Demba Bojang. Heads the ball to Babukar Kebe, who strides forward, connects Ibrahim Abaji, who is currently on a brace for Brikama United. Ibrahim Sidibe is being handled by. Korea and Steve Biko will benefit from a set piece in their own hub. And any moment from now, it's going to be a double substitution for Steve Biko. They are bringing off the number 11 and 17. The number 11, 17 is Osman Sise and the, the number 25, 25 off and 17 off for Steve Biko. The 25 is Yanku Bature and the 17 is Osman Sise and Pa Hassan Barrow is in for 
Steve Biko and the number seven is in. Anyway, we have to confirm that from the match form. Cheney Bojang rose the highest to Babu Karjata, who has been dispossessed. Suleiman Osaho to Ismail Ajiba, quickly to Cheney Bojang. Brikama United trying to get the ball forward. Ibrahim Abaji gets the ball quickly to Ismail Ajiba. Not a very good control from Ismaila. Brikama United trying to get something here. Currently sits. On 14th position with 15 points, Brikama United, while Steve Biko are on 6th position with 25 points. They will definitely want to get a victory here to better their standing. Brikama United, with a victory, will surely get themselves from the relegation zone. While Steve Biko will want to get a better standing as far as their position is concerned, with a victory, away from home. Anyway, that wouldn't be an easy task for Steve Biko against Brikama United in front of their home supporters at the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium into the second half here and we will try to get you the timing and also get you results across other venues as we have games in Basuri and also at the Serekunda East already 30 minutes on the clock at the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium it is already Brikama United 2 Steve Biko 2 and at the Serekunda East TMT against Team Rhino it is also nil nil between those two sides and at Basori or in Basori rather, it is Bombarda 1, Gambia Armed Forces 1. There we go, Pahasan now, dispossessed, Brikama United, this time it is a throw-in for Steve Biko, the left wing back, Pahasan Baro now, will try to get the ball forward, Adam Amane on a defensive mission, and Steve Biko will benefit from that. In case you're just joining us, this live ball-to-ball -ball commentary is coming to you live from the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium and this game is live on LSTV1. And at the commentary desk for LSTV, this is Paul Amin Fati. Kemo Kanye Momodo Bijalo and behind the camera is Osman Kamara. Na atara ku mol mi yalonko ibe bulakan no masa indrong. Kal haki lo bulan niko drong bali Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. Na dami yalonko me katadam fu na dikali mi yalonko niko abe. There we go, that's going to be, let's see what they will surely do. Do is the ball no easy time for the goalkeeper. Hazan Baro should have done better. Come here, Kavale Nyamen Drongko. Nying kata dam for Mimbe Nakanjang. Abe Mil Tema Olam Brikama United. Anin Steve Biko Nying Tema. Gambia La Football. Kata dam for La Kunya Folo Drong. Mia Longko Olam GFF Force Division 1. Tia Kamun Tambe Second Half Olto. Brikama United. Kata dam ya fula lesoto. Steve Biko Fana ya fula soto. Brikama United. Oh, Steve Biko ye goal fulo min soto. Mia Asko ye Drong Olam Lamin Silati. Brikama United Fana ye goal fulo min soto. Mia Asko Olam Ibrahim Bajiti. Kamun Tako Mbe Second Half Olto. Mintaro Miniti Tansa Banga Unyom Brikama is full of sorrow. Steve Biko is full of sorrow. Uh, table standings coming out for Yamin Drong. Kemo, uh, Brikama be 14 left. Uh, Steve Biko be 6 position. And Brikama United, Atemela Baki be more full of Natla. Mi Alonko be Kala more full of Mi Alonko be Natla. Atemela Baki. It's going to be a double substitution for Brikama United. It seems the supporters of Brikama United are unhappy with the substitution of Ibrahim Abaji, who had an incredible game this evening. And Ismail Ajiba. They both had an incredible game. Ismail Ajiba off, Ibrahim Abaji off. And Brikama United with a double substitution. There we go. Kemo Kanya, come on the Brikama, a more full of Dundee Science Center. But I come on the fans of Mankondani. Yeah, it's very well. Sometimes fans only who should look at a cankle because I'm a gentleman. It's my like Giba. Fans of the Maga Mokonda, when I water, what I can see the Juna Balgano, technical coaches, or the Namanaka, Bonin, and Juna Major Gonina, who made it a wonder of my phone. But I believe. Kosul ia adalah dalil nasional mana ya ya ia terfikir di aning fenang jata mea gole gula gol flow ini tu di so baju ada Ibrahim baju mea gole gol flow ini tu di ini hand sign kaji lo komen ko fansul mea ko be technical benjo ni be kosul ko maji be komplain kang Ismail baju la fitur la fitur kono mea ko kau kau di mesin la itu malah fi fiti because me be kame ada ni boleh ni de komen ko ada lebih dia maji sampai kampot me Fana Fana Mulet Mayango, I believe they better experience Pulera Mara, better play Kanga, become a United. So, Kanga, 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 Coach Ola Dizzo no wa yemen for all back in the field of Hanada and Amandia fans Ola. Sometimes our coach will find out I don't like it because in game all lose the final like a blame bit and he win the final credit in most cases I got deal like what I'm gonna be saying according to the level of the game.
Anyway, good to know that we have a lot of followers currently following us live on LSTV1 in the Gambia, across other parts of Africa, in Europe, America. And there we go. Special thanks to all our followers live on LSTV1 on both Facebook and YouTube. And you are reminded that this game is currently live from the Brikama Box Bamini Stadium. And Lamin Silla with a hand and not a convincing one. And Brikama United picks possession quickly through the new entrant. We will try to get the ball mal controlled. If Steve Biko, can they get something here? Brikama United regain possession through the new entrant now to Lamin Sambo, who receives the ball, trying to get the ball forward for Brikama United. And Sambu to Babu Karijata, who dribble passes Maka. Let's see what he was trying to do. Fires of target. And that's an incredible goal scoring opportunity for Brikama United. Babukar Jata with a left footed drive and his effort sailed off target and Steve Biko survived. And special thanks to our followers of LSTV1 and good to know that most of our followers are currently watching us live on LSTV1 on Facebook and also on YouTube. And special thanks to all of you currently watching us live on Facebook. Power die Babukar Kebe! Parried by the goalkeeper and for the second time. Guarded that, that ball comfortably. That was a Cristiano Ronaldo type of, a, uh, of an effort from Kebe Bubakar. His effort was first parried by the goalkeeper and the second time guarded that ball comfortably. And the goalkeeper Mbai should be very much careful with Babukar Kebe. He has a very good footing. Kebe Bubakar, Anderson, known to many in Brikama. Right footed delivery by the goalkeeper. And special thanks to our colleague and brother. Pamodu Tamba, who is currently watching this game live from Bali in Germany. Pamodu, bro, good to know you watching this game live. And any other follower of, of, of LSTV1 currently watching this live in the Gambia, across other parts of Africa and also Europe and America. Good to know that you are all watching. And Ramadan Mubarak to all of you from LSTV1 and the entire team currently live from the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. That's going to be a goal kick for Brikama United. Bubakar Silla with a right for their delivery this time to the new entrant, a collision. And that's going to be a set piece for Brikama United. Collision from the Brikama United player and the Steve Biko player as the team of officials or team of medics are already on the pitch in trying to rescue these players. And already the medical team are currently on the pitch in trying to give that medical support to the players who are currently on the ground for Brikama United and Steve Biko. And in case you're just joining us, this live football commentary is coming to you live from the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium in the game between Brikama United and Steve Biko in the GFF Men's Division 1. This is the second round and game 2 of the second round and game 17 of the GFF Men's Division 1 and Brikama United taking on Steve Biko. Brikama United currently sits on 14 position with 15 points while Steve Biko on 6, six position with 25 points. Brikama United a team based in Brikama coached by Sheriff Jalo but Sheriff Jalo is not on the dugout this evening and he is being assisted by Adama Sabali who is currently on the dugout for Brikama United this evening and Steve Biko who are currently under the watchful eyes of coach Adnan Musa and currently the game is on hold as Brikama United player and Steve Biko player are currently being supported by the team of medics here at the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. In case you're just joining us, at the commentary desk for LSTV Parliament Party, Kemo Kanye Momodo Bijalo behind the camera is Osman Kamara. The supporters of Brikama United are patiently waiting for the third goal from Brikama United. But anyway, Steve Biko wouldn't want to have it easy against Brikama United as they continue to be resolute at the back in trying to nullify most of the attacks being posed by Brikama United here. Let's wait and see what the result will surely get us here as both Brikama United and Steve Biko will be eyeing for a victory here. Steve Biko will definitely want a victory away from home while Brikama United will want to snatch an important victory in front of their home supporters. Kemo, it wouldn't be an easy final minutes here at the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. Uh, yes, uh, as the game draws nearer here, both sides are very much aware of the timing here. So, Brikama is now having a f uh, both uh, 
all both deep sides are uh, very much aware of the timing here that is currently ongoing. So I believe uh, none of the goal teams here will want to concede the goal now. But uh, we may there are more, there we may see a late drama here uh, from each, either of the sides here, Bikama or that of the Steve Biko side, but I mean, uh, the uh, players will fight to uh, make so that they avoid their opponent from scoring against them. But I mean, it has been a, it has been a long fight uh, between the two sides since the onset of this particular game. We have seen both sides are uh, doing very well to uh, make it so that they have uh, they win this particular game. But uh, it has been a real fight against uh, against each other here between the, uh, between the Kama United and that of the Steve Biko side. So uh, already. We have played uh, most of the minutes here that current, currently, 48 minutes here currently on the uh, clock. So we are, we are left with five minutes and plus the additional time that is to be played here for either of the sides here to uh, take the lead or, or win this particular game or the game would have to settle for a throw. But I think uh, if any of the sides here goes home with the throw here, I think it will, it would be a fair result for either of the sides here to go home with the throw. Whichever team wins also is a fair result for that particular side. But it has been a long fight uh, between these two sides. But it has been a great fight between Brikama United and Steve Biko from the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. Lamin by Sclerans, not a very good one. Ball being picked again by Steve Biko. Can they regain possession? This time it is Brikama United. United. Korea tries to get the ball. He's been out muscled and he's been retrieved by the player for Steve Biko. There we go. Silla has been fouled by Brikama United and Suleiman Osaho has been penalized by the central referee. And there we go. Suleiman Osaho big receives his marching orders from the central referee and we wouldn't do justice to our followers that wouldn't be able to understand the english language if we just continue bringing the live ball to ball commentary in the english language you'll also try to switch a little bit to get you some reactions as far as the local language is concerned Bijalo, game on during back into the final 10 minutes akamunta ko mantaro minute talla bom be wala kono game on during back steve biko left the castle but brikama left the castle steve biko will want to have a victory away from home e bonam bakaw e brikama bute at the box but brikama be left la e victory wala ko gagne sur in front of the Home supporters at the Brigham Box Bar Minister. Ah, pa, Koya for Yaman Dron, Steve Biko, get a team to me along with any Brigham Bentawati or whatever, Kolia, Pagle Brigham Buluka, Berengadeko, Jan, Steve Biko, get a team of the Mia Longo, it will fall, it will follow the Gulf, Katana Fula, Dadundi, Brigham La Jalokon, Brigham Bernang, Botan Komala, Fula, Hong Kong, Steve Biko, Jalokon, Hani saying, Team Mantaka, Guluka Fuja, Drong, I meant to that time or Amansia Baka Drong, but Steve Biko, Felentin Sans and Drong, if a Katarin Ibekatu. Da bi kekan ne kaje ko e guru ta kabin di baru eventing brikamala etin ya do ma fo drong ka kato da ke ka ban di bari brikamala defendal be balanding ko ma bake ngaje ko tay mo mintu da je amansi a bake drong brikama fala mun tim tim ya long ko nyi nang ye patada soto kabrin liko nyi kuma seda ngaje drong ye wino min ke kabrin liko kuma seda amansi a bake ni a jibe drong sai sai ni nim point o min be bulu ni nim gemo banda ten drong abe kala point Tani Warol did draw him so that this is no command. Steve Biko do well be damned to me along go honeymoon. Eke da draw Mabira ko is a relegate no. Ebe damned to draw. Because I'm a kid that team multi million along go. I come in for draw relegation. A struggle. Ebe wole ko. Ebe wole kan draw. Ngaje B. Bari B. Eka to da biko. Ngaje kabring second round on in Kumasi da round flan. Nawa in Kumasi da draw. Because I'm a kid that team multi million along go. Ye first game on you win. Ni na ni don't let me second game on di. I feel anything ebe draw kan jam. Brikama scores into the final minutes here at the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. The ball has been received by Sandy Bojang team captain who squares the ball to Babu Karijata. And Babu Karijata this time made no mistake by firing home to give that last minute gap goal to Brikama United. And it seems Brikama United are on the verge of bagging the maximum point in front of their home supporters at the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. Kemo Kanye into the last final minutes here at the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. Babu Karijata with a last minute goal for Brikama United. Yes, a little drama here. But, um, I think uh, Brikama at this uh, day, this fight, in the 
43rd minute here they have uh, scored you, you can remember in this in the second half the second goal that they have scored was in the 43rd minute of the first half uh, in the, in the first half that was the level for them and this one they have now taken the lead in the 43rd minute of the second half here that now we are left with um, just a minute to play we are in the final minute here close the additional time that is to be added here for uh, the Brigham United to uh, salvage this victory for them coming from 2 nil down now winning here by three goals to lose two uh, two that is a uh, moral booster for the Brickham United side I mean a confidence booster this will add up uh, positive to the confidence that they will have in coming into this uh, second round of uh, JVF male division one game par honestly I mean they are second round I mean when they continue to play like this in the second round I believe they will be able to uh, do something for their fans what the Brickham United fans will need from them additional four minutes put up and Lamarana Jallo whisked that ball away. Brikama United on the verge of celebrating an important victory here against Steve Biko. Can they hold on to this 3 2 advantage here at the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium? Or will Steve Biko will be able to restore parity in the final minutes? Remains the biggest question. Four minutes is been added on by the fourth assistant referee. Brikama United this time wouldn't be in any hurry as they are currently leading here by three goals to two. What a comeback from Brikama United. What a comeback from the Saturday Barboys. As Brikama United came from two goals down to, got to, to have a 3-2 scoreline here against Steve Biko. And Brikama United supporters will definitely be very much happy with this scoreline. As they are currently moving to an important victory here in front of their home supporters. From the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium, in case you're just joining us, this live commentary is coming to you live from LSTV1. From the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium in the GFF Men's Division 1 contest between Brikama United and... Steve Biko, Brikama United wouldn't be in any hurry. It's going to be a throw in. Adam Amane will take that. A short one to the team captain Seni Bojang, who controlled that ball beautifully. Great turn from Seni. The ball rolls out of play. Lamarana Jalo, let's see what he will surely do now. The flag of the assistant referee stayed down. And the central referee waved in for a play on. It's going to be a substitution any moment for Brikama United. This time to the goalkeeper. Lamin by for Steve Biko. Gets the ball to the central defender who slips seemingly. Ball being cleared by Steve Biko. Ibrahima, say Ibrahima Siribe. And Brikama United on the verge of celebrating a famous victory. They are on the verge of celebrating a famous victory against Steve Biko. Brikama United came from a goal, came from two goals down. To get a 3-2 scoreline currently, can they hold on to this scoreline? Can Brikama United hold on to this scoreline? This is going to be an important victory for Brikama United if they are able to hold on to this 3-2 scoreline here at the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. And we will also try to switch to other venues. There we go. Steve Biko floats the ball. Demba Bojang heads that ball out. This time to the new entrant, Lamin Sambu, who gets the ball to the... Go oh, Goal scorer of the third goal for Brikama, Babu Karjata. And this is Steve Biko now, gets that quickly. Steve Biko must be disappointed. They must be disappointed. They got an early 2 goal lead before Brikama United restored parity. Ball been floated into the 18 yard area. Ernest Babukar Sila came rushing and he. Brikama United game, I, I can tell you, the fans will continue to pile in here at the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium. As, con as, as, as it seems, um, confidence is been restored in this Brikama supporters as far as the second round is concerned for Brikama United. Yes, uh, very well, because uh, they are loving what they are seeing from their team. So, of course, uh, this will have a positive impact on the turnout of the fans that will come on every other game to make sure they witness their team play. Uh, Brikama United, as usual, when they play at home, uh, so many fans will turn out to come and see. But the first round wasn't going uh, right with them. So fans in most cases in football, when you are not winning, uh, especially in, in our football, they are fans. There we go! 
And that's the final whistle. Brikama United came from two goals down to snatch an important victory. An important victory against Steve Biko. And Brikama United players could not just believe this. Coming from two goals down to snatch an important 3-2 victory against Steve Biko. There we go. It is all over here at the Brikama Box Mamini Stadium. And Brikama United are very much happy here in front of their home supporters. And there we go. This is where we're going to end and end this live ball-to-ball -ball commentary from the Brikama Box Mamini Stadium. It has been an interesting game between Brikama United and Steve Biko and at the commentary desk for LSTV1 this is Paul Amin Fadi Kemo Kanye Momodi Bijalo behind the camera is Osman Kamara Brikama United a great comeback for the Saturday Bye Boys and we are saying bye bye from the Brikama Box Bar Mini Stadium till we come your way again and special thanks to all our followers on LSTV1 on Facebook and YouTube you can also keep on following LSTV1 and we will surely be there to get you the live ball to ball commentary in most of the games of the GFF Men's Division until then it has been Paul Amin Fadi Kemo Kanye Momodi Bijalo and Osman Kamara. So until then, we say bye bye from the Brikama Box Mamini Stadium till we come your way again.